Hello viewers, welcome to the episode on hill station and wildlife tourism in South India. There are impressions of western and eastern ghats through most of the southern states which has facilitated the growth of tourism in hill stations and wildlife. This episode focuses on some of the important hill stations and wildlife sanctuaries of the region. For better understanding, this episode is divided into five parts. Hill stations of Uti, Kodaikanal, Munnar, Kurg, Joke Falls, Hogenakal, Kanyakumari, Kumarkom, Kochi, Bekal, Tekadi, Aleppi, Lakshadweep Islands. Health Tourism in Kerala Wildlife Tourism in Periyar, Silent Valley National Park Wildlife Tourism in Bandipur and Nagarhole Let us study about these aspects one by one. The first aspect Hill stations of Uti, Kodaikanal, Munnar, Kurg and waterfalls like Jog Falls and Hogenakkal. Uti Uti, which is also known as Udakamandalam, is often referred to as Queen of Hill Stations in the district of Nilgiris in the state of Tamil Nadu. Uti is an ideal place for picnic spots and lakes. Uti was once a tribal land occupied by Todas and during British rule, the place served as summer capital of the Madras Presidency. The weather is pleasant almost throughout the year. Uti is home for several tourist destinations like Uti Lake, Botanical Garden, Rose Garden, Doddabetta, Wenlock Downs, Pine Forest, Emerald Lake, etc. The toy train known as Nilgiri Mountain Railway that runs from Metupalyam to Uti is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uti is also famous for its tea gardens which are spread in almost on all hills. Kodaikanal Kodaikanal is another important hill station of the state of Tamil Nadu. Also known as the Princess of Hill Stations in Tamil Nadu, Kodaikanal is situated at about 7000 feet in the southern tip of Upper Palani Hills. Kodaikanal has several scenic natural attractions which are enjoyed by its visitors and make it a popular romantic destination. Kodaikanal is not extensively commercialized like Uti and it offers a pleasant experience to tourists with relatively less crowd. Apart from the pleasant weather, Kodaikanal has several tourist attractions like Kodai Lake, Bryant Park, Kuakas Walk, Bear Shola Falls, Silver Cascade, Pillar Rocks, etc. The hills offer beautiful views all around, especially from the Kuakas Walk. The best time to visit Kodaikanal is April to June during the summer. Monsoon from September to October also offers different experience of rains. Munnar Munnar is a popular hill station and a honeymoon destination situated in the state of Kerala. It is situated at about 4800 feet from the sea level and served as a summer resort of British rule. Munnar is also famous for its tea plantations, beautiful scenic views, winding lanes and home to the Neela Kurinji flower which blooms and covers the hills in blue once in 12 years. Anamudi is the highest peak in South India with over 2,695 meters which attracts the tourists for trekking. Apart from the very hill station, Munnar also has attractions 
such as Erviculum National Park, which is famous for its endangered Nilgiri Thar and several species of animals and birds. Metupetti is located about 13 kilometers from Munnar, is known for storage masonry and a beautiful lake. The other places include Pallivasal, Chinna Canal, Top Station, Tea Museum, etc. Kurg. Kurg is a district located in the Western Ghats of state of Karnataka is amidst mountains, valleys, forests and coffee plantations. Kurg, also called as Kodagu, is also known as Scotland of India and Kashmir of South is the place for nature lovers and also adventure enthusiasts. There are many spectacular waterfalls and streams. Kurg is also famous for its spice farms full of pepper, cardamom, oranges, nutmeg, turmeric, lemongrass, etc. Kurg as a hill station has some interesting treks such as Pushpagiri, Tadiandamol, Bisile and Brahmagiri peaks which are quite challenging and blessed with natural beauty. Kurg tourism offers some wonderful moments of relaxation and rejuvenation for everyone. Kurg is also the birthplace of the river Kaveri which is an important river for the people of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu both geographically and historically and Kaveri Sankramana is celebrated which is associated with the river Kaveri. Apart from places of trekking, Kurg also has other places of interests, namely the Raja seat in Madikeri, Tibetan camp at Bailakuppe, Dubare elephant camp, Abbi Falls, etc. Joke Falls Joke Falls is located in the district of Shumagga in the state of Karnataka. It is the highest waterfall in India and unlike other waterfalls, these falls directly plunges about 253 meters and does not stream onto rocks. The other names of the falls are the Gerusoppa Falls and Jogadagundi. The falls are created from the river Sharavati. The Jog Falls is segmented into four distinct falls named Raja, Rani, Roarer and Rocket and each fall is unique with its flow. Tourists can also reach the base of the falls and take a bath in the water. The nearby places to visit are the Varadahalli, Tunga Dam, Tyavarakoppa Tiger Reserve, Linganamakki Dam and BRP Dam. Hogenakkal Hogenakkal waterfalls called as the Niagara of India are a sequence of falls located at the bordering states of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. The wide flow of the Kaveri River gets split at this point, forms an island and plunges into a deep gulf to create the most beautiful waterfalls. The rocks thus get their name as Hogenakal, which means smoking rock. The best time to visit Hogenakal waterfalls is just after the rainy season when the river overflows, giving breathtaking view of the falls. The falls is about 155 kilometers from Bengaluru, the capital of Karnataka. Moving on to the second aspect, that is Kanyakumari, Kumarkom, Kochi, Bekal, Tekadi, Aleppi, Lakshadweep Islands. Kanyakumari. Kanyakumari is located at the tip of the Indian Peninsula in the state of Tamil Nadu. Kanyakumari attracts lakhs of people all around the year for the wonderful sunrise and sunset from atop the hill 
Murugan Kundram. Amidst the sea, there are two rocks known as twin rocks, both contributing to the rich Indian heritage with the monuments of Swami Vivekananda and Saint Tiruvalluvar. Kanyakumari and its surroundings are believed to be part of the land which was created by Parashurama, an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Folk tales and mythological stories speak volumes about Kanyakumari. Tourists can visit the famous Vivekananda rock and Saint Tiruvalluvar rock and also visit nearby places including Kanyakumari Gandhi Memorial, Kamraj Memorial and Kanyakumari Church. Kumarkom Kumarkom is situated in the state of Kerala, is an ideal place to experience the backwaters of Kerala. Kumarkom is actually a cluster of islands close to the city of Kottayam. It is situated near the Vembanad Lake which is Kerala's largest freshwater lake. Kumarakom is maybe the only place in India other than Kashmir which is known for its houseboats. Kumarakom also witnesses boat races around the time of Onam which is an important South Indian festival. Many different varieties of boats take part in the races. Apart from the boathouse experience, tourists can visit Kumarkom Bird Sanctuary during October and February to observe different types of migratory birds. Kochi Kochi is one of the important trade centers from centuries and is located in Malabar coast of the state of Kerala. Kochi houses some spectacular views in the entire country. Kochi's mainland, Ernakulam, is said to be the cosmopolitan hub and there are historical places nearby too such as Kochi Fort, St. Francis Church, Cheraman Mosque and Martin Cherry. For beach lovers, there are many beaches among them are the Fort Cochin Beach, Cherai Beach are the popular ones. Kochi is also famous for homestays and heritage accommodation. During the New Year, Kochi Carnival attracts many tourists with various dance performances, animated shows, concerts and parades. Bakal Bakal Fort is an historical place located in Kasaragodu district of the state of Kerala. The fort was built in 18th century in over 40 acres on the beaches of Arabian Sea. The fort itself is magnificent and shows the cleverness of the kings who built this fort seems to be with a complete plan. Located at 150 feet above the sea level, the view of the surroundings from the top of the fort is panoramic. There is a Hanuman temple and a mosque built by Tipu Sultan. Tekkadi Tekkadi is also known as the Periyar is located in the district of Idukki of the state of Kerala. The Periyar forests are one of the finest wildlife reserves in India. With teeming flora and fauna, Tekkadi attracts many visitors all around the year. Visitors can take boat rides and elephant rides inside the forest area and venture deep into the forest area allocated for a small safari. There are other places nearby Tekkadi which includes Periyar Lake, Center for Theatre and Performances, Mudra Cultural Center, Gavi Forest, Green Park Ayurvedic and Spice Plantation, Mulla Periyar Dam and a number of spas. Aleppi Aleppi or Alapuza located in the state of Kerala is also known as the Venice of East due to its waterways, 
that form a complex channel of lagoons, lakes and canals. The place is most adorned by nature lovers due to its pristine scenic beauty, backwaters, paddy fields, rich fauna and beautiful beaches lined with dense coconut and pine trees. Alepi also has several religious historic attractions like churches and museums which reflect the rich past. Alepi is also a major trade center mainly for coir, carpet, rubber factories and prawn farming industries. The places of visit in Alepi include Kumarkom Bird Sanctuary, Alepi Beach, St. Andrew's Basilica, shopping complexes, etc. Lakshadweep Islands The islands of Lakshadweep is located at a distance of around 200 kilometers from the coast of the state of Kerala. With just 32 square kilometers of area, Lakshadweep Islands offer a great retreat to the tourists with beautiful beaches and blue waters and there are activities such as swimming, scuba diving, kayaking and snorkeling. Some of the important islands for tourist visits are Kavaratti Island, Kalpeni Island, Minikoi Island. Apart from these tourists can also visit the Fisheries Museum, Kalpeni Factory and view the folk dance. Moving on to the third aspect, Health Tourism in Kerala. The state of Kerala is located on the southwestern tip of India with the Arabian Sea in the west and western Ghats in the east. Kerala has a wide variety of tourism resources. The most known tourism product is the Kerala tourism which is known all over the world. Kerala offers traditional health care resources such as Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddhaushada, Naturopathy, Yoga and also meditation. Kottakkal Arya Vaidya Shala, Ayurveda Chikitsalayas, Ayurveda Shalas are well known health care centers in Kerala. Kerala is known for its spas which offer traditional Ayurvedic treatment for different ailments as well as rejuvenating therapies. Kerala also offers a range of world quality hospitals and treatments on the modern allopathic medications and surgery which is offered substantially at lower costs than that in developed countries. Health tourism has a positive impact on other forms of tourism as health tourists choosing a health care tourism destination based on its tourism resources also. Majority of the health tourists had visited backwater, beach, farm and ecotourism areas of Kerala during their health care tour to Kerala. Moving on to the fourth aspect, wildlife tourism in Periyar, Silent Valley National Park. Periyar National Park. Periyar National Park is situated in the Cardamom and Pandalam Hills in the Western Ghats of Kerala. The major portion of the park forms the catchment of the river Periyar and Pamba. The national park is around 925 square kilometers. The national park is declared as a tiger reserve in 1982. The Periyar Tiger Reserve is one of the important tiger reserves among the 27 tiger reserves in India. The national park is a biodiverse environment which houses a variety of mammals, birds, butterflies and fishes. There are various other activities conducted in the national park by the forest department which includes nature walk, cloud walk, 
green walk, border trekking, bamboo rafting, jungle scout, tiger trail, etc. Silent Valley National Park The Silent Valley National Park is located in the district of Palakkad of state of Kerala. The name Silent Valley is due to the absence of the noisy insect cicadas which are abundant in tropical rainforests. It is an ideal nature lover's destination with beautiful mountains and greenery and the river Kuntipuza runs through the valley. The national park is home to Nilgiri langur, tigers, elephants, leopards, snakes, Malabar squirrel and Malabar laughing thrush and a host of butterfly and bird species. Moving on to the last aspect, wildlife tourism in Bandipur and Nagarhole. Bandipur National Park. Bandipur National Park is situated in the district of Chamrajnagar in southern part of the state of Karnataka, India. Earlier known as Venugopala Wildlife Park, it is one of the oldest wildlife sanctuaries in India established by the Maharaja of Mysore in 1931 and a protected reserve for tigers. The park covers an area of 874 square kilometers. Bandipur National Park is home to many animals, birds and a host of plant species. The various animal species includes the tiger, elephant, leopard, white spotted deer, wild boar, wild gaur, sloth bear, etc. There are elephant safaris, van safaris, jeep safaris which takes the tourists to the deeper forest areas where they can get glimpses of magnificent animals. The best time to visit the park is from March to May when animals come out the buffer zone and flock at the water holes. Bandipur Wildlife Sanctuary is also known as the connecting link as it connects the Vainad Wildlife Sanctuary in Kerala and the Madhumalai Wildlife Sanctuary in Tamil Nadu, forming a long stretch of natural beauty. It is now under consideration for selection as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Nagarhole National Park Nagarhole National Park is also known as Rajiv Gandhi National Park. It is situated around 95 kilometers from Mysore and the bordering state of Kerala. Nagarhole gained its name from the river which runs through the forest in the shape of a snake. The Nagarhole National Park is over 643 square kilometers. There are a variety of animals, about 250 species of birds and plants. The park also links to the Bandipur National Park in the southwestern part and has two entrance gates, namely Kabini and Virana Hosalli near Hunsur. Its lush forests are home to Tiger, Leopard, Elephant, Gaur, Barking Deer, Dhol, Bonnet Macaque and Common Langur and about 270 species of birds. The park remains closed for long stretches between July and October. The weather is pleasant from November to February but the best time to visit the park is from March to April when the animals come out of the dense forests in search of lakes and water holes. Jeep safari is facilitated for the tourists and entry of private vehicles is banned inside the park. Apart from the park, tourists can also visit the places including Iruppu Falls, Bailukuppe Tibetan Camp, Dubare Elephant Camp and Madikeri. To conclude, Southern India has immense potentials of eco and wildlife tourism. The various hill stations like the Uti, Kodaikanal, 
Munnar, Kurg, Joke Falls offers to the tourists with the experience of beauty of nature from atop these hill stations. The important beaches of Kanyakumari, Kumarkom, Kochi, Bekal, Tekkadi, Alepi and Lakshadweep Islands attracts beach lovers with their unspoilt beauty and peacefulness apart from various marine activities. Health tourism in Kerala offers a variety of medications based on the traditional style of healthcare treatment. South India also has some of the famous national parks namely the Periyar National Park and Tiger Reserve, Silent Valley National Park, Bandipur National Park and Nagarhole National Park which are being well protected by the governments and are teeming with a variety of flora and fauna. Thank you.